Um, yeah, well, I'm Chanel Wella. <laughs> it's mm. a nickname that was given to me from school. Uh, I do a bit of content creating <laughs> on, um, you know, all them platforms. I'm under Chanel Wella. if you check me on Instagram. It's Chanel Wella Graham and Miss Chanel Wella. Mm. Pretty much if it, with one last day, with one A or two last days. <laughs> But yeah, and I'm a content creator. I'm trying to do different stuff at the moment. Started out on OnlyFans and doing a bit of modelling. Done it for over a year now, so... Okay. Trying so, to <laughs> move oh, on. Oh, no. That's move cool. On. So, like, what made you get into the whole modelling stuff? Like, what inspired you to get into it? I think I've seen a few girls from towns that I used to live in. And they were doing it over... I think it was more over the lockdown, but a few of them were starting out doing the modelling at the time. And to be honest, I've been in a crap situation in my life before where, you know, I used to work 40 hour weeks, 60 hours, so on, worked hard and still got nothing out of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I saw these girls making the money and I just thought, you know what, half of them, and I knew some of them were right, they're doing it for the right reasons. It's not just to, you know, spend it on a handbag or something like that. (laughs) So you weren't like nervous? Because like I, I hear people like, well, really with any type of, you know, job, honestly, like it doesn't have, have to be like necessarily like uh, modeling because I usually yeah. like just I'll, I'll put it this way, like influencers in general, like when it comes like to social media, some people will be like, yeah, yeah I used to work this, uh, you know, this regular nine to five, or whatever. But then I saw this that I like to do. So I was like, OK, I'm yeah. with that and do this. And honestly, like hearing that, it's like it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like you know like man how do you do that like how do you feel in that situation because for me personally reasons why Mm. I've never like done that like you know because obviously I still wear like a regular job and I just do this you know like eventually at some point once I started you know making money on it then eventually I'll like leave that that's just how I do things because I just try to like a little bit you know uh just think ahead because I feel like you know uh everybody obviously can't necessarily just do that you know like quit and yeah like, i feel like you you would have to at least have a plan or something but when i hear that it is kind of inspired mm. but sometimes i just feel like i don't know how people do that like what like so when you did that like what did you ever feel like a little nervous like should i really do this or should i just yeah like, have this first i think and then, you know do that yeah i think it depends on that to go with it really like with my past it depends on your past as well I do think, like, it does depend on how you grow up in a way. I mean, obviously, some people, you see celebrities doing it. Yeah. But they don't have to show as much, you know. They can get away with it. So, and you know what I mean? Mm. You see them saying, I'll show you this, and they're making millions. Like, you've seen some making millions. And they're not, there's girls out there doing, even me, doing a lot less. But I think it depends on your background as well. Like, when I say, oh, I was in a normal nine-to-five job, I had my life turn upside down three or four years ago, and I've ended up where I was homeless and lost everything. Mm-hmm. and for me I moved out when I was 16 so for that to me for me to happen three or four years ago I mean I'm 28 now and it was just like it was a bit of a shock and to have it all taken by a guy or whatever and it took me a long time it took me two or three two and a half years just to even get to a place because of the system and how it supports you and my mental health and all that I've had to do it on my own and I think in a way the only fans I don't know why it kind of just made me not man up but you know what I mean I think at the end of the day, girls are making money from this. I just want a better life. It helped me get out of debt. It helped me build a credit rating even. It's helped me get confidence back. I can pay for stuff like, yeah, it's money that's earned. At the end of the day, you sell your body to a job anyway. Mm-hmm. When you think about it, like manual labor, I sold myself 40 hours a week to like, you know, retail stores and things like that. And I got more worse over it, at least with this. I've been able to do it on my own time. Yeah, I was a bit scared at first, but I've had that kind of reputation before in the past before I was ever known doing any modelling or anything where people just like, I'm a bad person, this, this, this. But they all wanted something out of me. And you know what? <laughs> I've made the money off them now and they all come back. <laughs> I've yeah. heard worse things be called about me. I've got family and good friends to back me. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, you're always going to have haters. I used to have people slag me off before, but now I'm making money and they can slag me off. <laughs> it's more okay. fun so like but you've got to have a I think you've got to have that background because it is hard you're going to have people be nasty to you no matter what and you've got to have something that builds it like mm. kind of just builds you up a bit and because I've been at that bottom and I've had people look down at me 
And back then I felt like people looked down on me more than they would do now with what I'm doing. I don't feel ashamed of doing OnlyFans and doing the spicy pages and all that. At the end of the day, it's actually kept my mental health up a bit better. I've made a good group of friends over the time, modeling on cabin and on the Instagram pages. Hmm. Like I've had a better support network than I did when I was homeless and when people didn't want me around, you know what I mean? Hmm. It was just, so to me, I think it depends because some girls they can do this easily but they'll quit after a year or two hmm. but me so how, like how did that like homeless situation happen like did you like parents kick you out of something like that or like oh that no happened? my parents I've always had good parents that have worked hard good ethnics even with all the th- things that have happened like my dad was an alcoholic and on drugs he still went to rehab got himself sorted it took him years my parents split after it there was problems and all that between it but I've always been taught, like, you know what I mean? The situation could be shit, but we can try and turn it around. We're all human as long as you, as long as you're so, you know what I mean? My parents were good together. That was it. I'm glad they split up. It may, if they'd stayed together, I think, and tried and all that, I think they would have made me a worse person. Mm. And okay. I think, yeah, and I just, you know what I mean? It wasn't that they couldn't, they just couldn't house me. They couldn't, they didn't have the facility. They didn't have nothing like that. And, I've been used to supporting myself. I've got two children and my mum helped me support them. That's all I cared about. Mm. But me, I've had to build it back up again. And I'm so proud of it because it's all in my name. I haven't had my dad help me pay for it and so on and so forth. Like, I had my dad leave me when I was young. People could say it's daddy issues, but really I have a good relationship with my dad. Well, mm. I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? We all have different situations. Like, I'm the kind of person I try and make the best out of it now. So no point sitting there crying and moping. I've seen the worst of people. So I think for me, that's my drive. <laughs> just to mm. show them that I can. Yeah, at the end of the day, we all, everyone sells their soul. They all do stuff. You know what I mean? We all do things that I might not be proud of this in a few years time, but I'm less proud of being when I was homeless and all that. I felt more useless than at least now. Mm. I wake up in my own bed every day. This is the things that I wish for when I was home. It's like, oh, I wish I had my own bed because I have to move sofa to sofa. I'm grateful for it, you know what I mean? And it's nice. It's a better feeling. Okay. Yeah, so like you basically um so you basically like so you just moved out on your own. Like once you I guess you turned that age, you just decided to go out on your own. And oh, no, just... I, I had my children when I was young, when I was 16. That was mm. all all right. It was the partners that I picked at the time that were bad the hmm. situations that I'm in, but I put myself there half the time. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, it's all their fault. I put myself in that situation most of the time, hmm. but I didn't have a strong network around me. I didn't have people supporting me. I didn't really have all of that. And um, ended up losing it all because I'm an ex. I put everything in with him and I let him take it from me. Hmm. And you know what I mean? We've all got to trust people at times. Like, you know, we're not stupid for it. It just happened. And, at the time, I let drug addiction shit get to me really bad. Yeah, I smoke. That to me is all right. I mean, a lot of people find with it, but that kind of thing. Not nothing bad, like nothing bad in drugs like that. But you know what I mean? Yeah. And in the way, this is this has helped me. Like when I've worked and I've paid into the system for what they give you. You know what I mean? I can't. I've been in America. I don't know what it's like over there. I mean, I've got aunties and uncles that live over there, but I mean, two hundred pound a month here—that's not livable. You can't mm-hmm. do it. And with what I've been doing, I've been able to obviously buy for my kids more. It's nice to be able to provide properly. You feel useless as a parent when it's bad enough for my mum's had to look after them. But now that I can provide and we've had a good Christmas, things like that. Mm. And it's a work in progress and everything. I know like everyone looks at Instagram and looks at all that and we're all following everyone else. But really, I'm in my own lane. I'm okay. just happy to be where I am. I have to, I have my own little battles, we have battles with mental health and stuff like that. But in a way, this has all kind of saved me. It okay. keeps me on track. <laughs> so like, it, so it's just you and your kids. Like, so he's not really like in the picture like that no more. So it's just you and you like- Oh, no, no, he's not the kid's dad. He's not the kid's dad. Oh. We just got together a few years ago. We got on and then things just, it just went bad. You know what I mean? We, were, we could have been good, but mm. it's just the situations that were thrown at us. Mm, okay. it didn't work out and you know what I mean everyone's moved on now nearly five years ago but oh, okay. it's took me a long time I think it was when I lost everything that's what shook me I was just like I've never like not had a home of my own 
Mm. Even when I moved out when I was 16, I had a room. I had, you know what I mean? I've mm. always supported myself in a way. Yes, my dad used to help, but over the years, I haven't had help from him. I'm just proud that I've done it myself. And mm. So you just like doing you know your own I mean? thing, basically. Like, like you just like doing yeah, your own stuff, basically. I'm trying to, like, I'm interested more in, I mean, there's so many people that market saturated with people on Instagram trying to do the whole blogging and clothing and all that. Yeah. I don't know, but I just want to try a few few things and that at least I can say that I've tried it, you know, what I mean it's one of them things, but the only fans, all of that's given me the confidence. Even mm. though there's some days we all get down days where I'm just like, oh is it worth it? But okay. I've had a lot harder days than that. <laughs> okay. to... So like so like does your friends and family know what you do and like are they like cool like supportive of it and stuff like that my friends know what i'm doing like i always we always have laughs about it in group chats you know they even mm. edit photos and things will have a joke but i know they're my good friends i know their jokes don't hurt like that and when when it came to my family my brothers i've got two older brothers mm. obviously they're the one that i grew up with the most obviously he cared because his friends would obviously wind him up and that but Mm. At the same time, I think you can see that it's actually compared to my behavior and stuff years ago, how I used to act. He said it's actually, I don't know, he said he just sees a lot of change in me and I'm more of a family person, surprisingly. Mm. And I've had people try and blackmail me at first and all that, but I got to a point where I just, me and my mum sat down, we had a bottle of wine, and we just, <laughs> I just basically talk, we make jokes about it now. Like she'll sit there and just say, you know, I mean, jokes about the cam and things like that. Oh, mm. you missed Dominatrix today, and I'm just joking about. But there is times when we argue, she might throw it back at me. Mm. But I do say to everyone now, well, you're not bothered when I'm spending money and doing nice things to you. You can't, you know what I mean? If you're seriously against what I do, you've got to come with the whole package with it. You can't just be there for the good moments and mm. then, you know what I mean, slag me off afterwards. When mm. I've spent and done things like that, you know what I mean. Okay, so I just want to bend. But my family, like my nan, I know really. I think years ago I was more lost than that, and for some strange reason, this sort of things just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so everything's <laughs> basically good. In my life. So everything's good then. Okay, I mean, okay, that's cool though. Yeah, I mean, because like most people. Oh yeah, but I have normal problems. I have normal problems where I'm stressing about paying the bills, but it's not oh. where I'm going to stay tonight. It's uh-huh. oh, I've got to pay this bill, and if I don't pay it, oh well, that's my problem. So like your, you know I mean? so like your folks, they look out for you and stuff whenever like you need it. So you're not necessarily like in a. Like... My mum will put herself in debt for me, but obviously oh. I wouldn't let her do that. If I had to pay something, I go mum. She'd do her best. Obviously, my mum can't do a lot because she's only in so much of a job, and she helps look after my kids. Mm-hmm. And she's older now; she's in her sixties can't expect much of her like that but she will go her furthest even yeah. if me and her are falling out and that when mm. it comes to my kid it's just like that in my family people will see it as and it's been used against me in the past oh your family don't care they do mm. they just toughen me up a bit because it is the real world unfortunately mm. and like I help my mum I'll put myself I'll pay her rent first before mine's paid if it meant like you know what I mean mm. we okay. will do- go further and the family will pull together but you know, it's just one of them things. But I know they're probably not happy about what I do, but I've got a lot of my family sticking up for me, my cousin especially, mm. where they said my behaviour and everything, it's helped a lot with my mental health. Surprisingly, it's weird. Mm. It's strange how it's actually worked for me in little ways. So it's probably why I carry on, because I can be my own boss, because I can switch up some days. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's cool. So, like, have you ever gotten, like, any comments from people that, like, just like really like say like you know a bunch of negative stuff like has it been like from people oh, that yeah. you know <laughs> like has it been people from like like you known in the past or oh just yeah a bunch of random random people no not there? not the parents not so much like my mum she said around my old town people used to say little comments like have you seen what she's doing and mm. my mum was like at the end of the day she's a grown woman she's over 25 mm. I can't stop her like but she sees it as, to be honest, it's grounded me a bit more. I'm not out going out partying or doing something stupid because I've had a bad day. Mm. You know what I mean? I was working out, I go to the gym, I can afford to go to the gym. I don't have excuses that I can't pay for stuff. And You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I treat my kids. I don't spoil them in that way because they're not spoiled. 
Mm. And you could ask anyone, you could see for yourself of them. Mm. But you know what I mean? But the nasty comments I've had, it's from some people I used to go to school with, college. And I think they just have a little drunk night. They've had a few drinks or they've had something or I don't know what it is. And they'll say that I like loads of attention and all that. It's like, well, who doesn't like attention? We all don't want negative attention. We don't want bad attention. We're all human. Mm. You know what I mean? We like a compliment. I sit there and compliment. For it. I'm not there with fake compliments. Mm. You know what I mean? I'll say to people, I'm just like, if people, you know what I mean? It's their energy as well. It's not just like, oh, if they're pretty, it's like, it's their energies to me and things like that. And I've had a lot of hate. And in half the time, I've had it where they apologise. And I actually tell them to shove it where the sun don't shine, basically. So, mm. you know what I mean? I do. I have my moments because I'm like, at the end of the day, if you're going to pee me off, I'm, I'm just going to, I don't even have to, but I'll tell you straight when you're sober, don't, don't speak mm. to me like that, that's it. Like, at the end of the day, I don't like certain people, but I don't go messaging them like that. If I see something I don't like, I scroll past. Mm. I don't, I'm not going to waste 30 seconds of negativity in my life on something like that. Like, basically, don't follow them, don't. If you sit there and follow people and do all that, you're just mentally hurting yourself. You're mm. doing it to yourself and the end of the day it's just <laughs> okay it's so, so you pretty much used to all that uh all that stuff it doesn't really like really get to you it hurts much. all the same oh. it can hurt it can hurt it depends on the day so if i'm having a bad day and i see them coming but i've just learned now i used to be that person that'd be like oh for to leave the comments and what like, people just gonna think i'm trying to hide it but you know what it is i just don't want negativity I fell out with a friend and you know what i did i just started deleting the text because i thought i don't even want to get to that point like sent voice notes saying, you know, F off, you peer me off and all that kind of thing. But at the same time, I didn't want to read her messages back because I was just like, you know what, it's just going to get into that kind of confrontation. It's just going to get worse. I'd rather yeah. ignore it now. And sometimes, most of the time, I think as older I've got, and I've got kids and they're like it. I don't know what you call it over there. It's my kids in secondary school. And she tells me about she's falling out of friends and that sort of thing. And it's just like, oh, you know what? It's not worth it. Mm. It's how you get into stupid altercations with people and things like that. So okay. it's to just leave it. So, like, what do you plan on doing, like, in the near future and stuff? Let's like, say when you hit, like, your 30s, maybe 40s oh, and stuff. Like, what you, <laughs> is that what now? <laughs> well, 30s. I'll be 30. Not this year, next year. Mm. so this year it's got to be my driving license be done I know it's took me this long but I've had the money now sitting there ready to just get it done obviously because of the coronavirus and all that mm -hmm. and I lost my license I've not lost it in a bad way I just lost my um, provisional license when I was out mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've got to order a new one it takes long so hopefully get all that done and got a few things planned with my friend She's called Jodie, Miss Jodie Pink on Insta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's mostly in my stories, like when we meet up. So I've got a few little things planned with her, might be moving in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that'd okay. be fun. I keep, I keep saying things to her like, oh, I want to do something new, YouTube, maybe mixing. Mm -hmm. I do okay. like the drum and bass at the moment. She's got me back into my love of drum and bass again. So, mm -hmm. And I've had a few people, just like, I think a few podcasts and that try. Just trying out a few things, see how I do. <laughs> uh, so you don't want to like, like necessarily do the the whole modeling thing for not obviously not forever, but just like I like transition. modeling. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like modeling, but I like doing different stuff. Like I don't want to do the same background and yeah. the same thing. I want to try a bit with the blogger, but I think it's just got I've got to get that confidence there as mm. well. Like now I've got my confidence. Like I'm getting there because I had a few months where. I was on and off on OnlyFans saying, not, like, I probably have screwed a few customers over. Even if they see me on the video, if they message me, I can sort it all out for them sort of thing. Like, I do get it. But now, like, I've been spending my time since I've got back home, getting my pages running again, just new content, getting rid of all the old stuff because it was just like, you know what, I'm hanging on to old things. Mm -hmm. So it's just getting that, I'm get got to get that confidence back there first and then the try with pools and things like that but blogging maybe mm. a music video something like that just so you just want to do like everything like you just want to try different I wanna, stuff yeah i mean some things you're really good at some things you're not okay. <laughs> like some people i i think i put myself down a lot with my plan mm -hmm. like i do say to if i'm like no i don't know 
but I think that's because of again it's mental health stuff but I've got a lot of people that support me and they're just like well you wouldn't have all this following all this sort of thing if it's that bad mm. so, so you'd be having people so you had mentioned you you, you want to try to do like a podcast like, have you thought about doing a podcast about like mental health because there was somebody that I had interviewed and she said that she was trying to do something like that where she because she goes through like something like that too and she yeah. thought about you know doing something similar you ever thought a- about doing that there was a guy, and I can't remember where I met him. It was either in Manchester or it was in Birmingham. And I think he was training and he was saying about mental health. He was brilliant when I was talking to him. He would have been good for that sort of podcast as well. Mm-hmm. But I think at the same time, because I'm that sort of person, because I'm currently at the moment getting diagnosed with the ADHD sort of thing mm-hmm. and all that. So it's just, I don't know, at the same time, I like to be kind of funny. I'm not always that serious. Yeah. If you know what I mean? I think that that's my personality. Mm-hmm. I think it's just my way of so but I'm fit I've chat a few ideas I talk to my best friend a lot about a few ideas a few of my friends actually and I'll go won't this be funny like if I look back through my messages so I'm hoping to do so but I just want it to come together I don't want to force it okay all right that's cool. thing, but yeah like, do people do people ever come across you as like mean sometimes I guess because I know when I had seen your profile but you kind of did look a little like serious kind of me yeah I didn't think you would really like respond. resting bitch face Do they guess, call it resting bitch face over there <laughs> yeah yeah we call that too. yeah and, and I just thought like I don't know like, I just I don't know I just thought you probably kind of my emotions mean. half the time it's probably because that's the easiest emotion for me sometimes so mm. it's like I try and be smiley but it's not because I think about bad people things like that I'm just I don't know I'm trying mm. to try out new things but it is again it's me got an I have to get out of that bit in my head where it's just like, oh, I don't like this. Like, we all like different things and we all see people from different perspectives mm, okay. and all that, but it's very... <laughs> but I... no, I do. I get people say sometimes I'm a bit loud or the way I come across, but it's because of how I've just grown up in my family. Mm-hmm. You've got to be loud. And we all, we don't, when I say insult each other, people are like, that's insulting. I don't know. We've just got that humour. And I think that's what, gives me that when mm-hmm. people are nasty I'm just like oh whatever and you know say something back mm-hmm. you know try and, my mum always used to be like try and say something back with your mouth not with your fists okay. I mean if they hit you after then <laughs> you know okay. what I mean but it's that sort of thing where a lot of people do say to me and me in the end when they've met me oh you are actually all right and so on yeah but some people don't get on with they'll say you're all right you're just not my sort of person even and I get on with them and I get on with a lot of random people. So okay. yeah, I thought that at mind, first. Mike. Yeah, I thought that at first. I was like, because I didn't, you know, because usually how I, I get people on these videos, I just go around asking people. Mm. So I don't really expect anything. So yeah, I when I saw the tree, I replied. I was thinking like, because at first I thought maybe it was like a fake account. I was like, man, something about this don't seem real. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, there's no way like somebody like her is gonna respond to me. But I said, well, let me see at least. So let me like give it a, uh, a chance. Oh no, we've all we've all got to start out somewhere. And like I've seen people where they've had small account and things grow in the end and things like that. You know what I mean? You yeah. never know. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I know how it I know I look at messages sometimes, like should I put kisses on the end? But you know, when you want to be professional, it's like I can't yeah. be putting kisses on the end. Yeah. And it's like, do I sound like I'm coming across? I prefer voice noting, I really do because I think you find out people and their personality. Yeah, how they sound through that but obviously some people can't always and um, because I'm a talkative person mm-hmm. as you can see <laughs> no no it's cool it's cool a lot of, I'll know a lot of my friends will be like she's very chatty but again it's a, it could be an ADHD trope no no it's cool no, we all, no it's cool we all we all got something but no nah, I thought that at first oh yeah because I was just like yeah, I just felt skeptical because because you know how sometimes you know you'll get m- random messages you know from just uh, yeah. big accounts sometimes and there's just a lot. Oh yeah, you just <laughs> it's never a know. Daily thing. I get that. I get that a lot sometimes, and I'm just like I just try to be a little like cautious, and you know I would just give them. A Do shot. people think you're a girl's account sometimes? Did they message you things? Yes, they post? literally. <laughs> it's crazy because I had my, I had messages. Some I mean I had interviews my yesterday, and she uh, as soon as she got on here, she's like, "Oh, I thought you were a girl." I was like, "What?" And I, I'm like, I don't know how people think that because I got a message from some guy. And he was like, oh, hello, ma'am. I, I I see that your YouTube channel 
you know, got low subscribers, I can help with that. I was no, like, I saw, off, yeah. I was like, no, I saw on your profile because I scroll through. I do scroll through things. Like, yeah. I expect people, if they check my profile, be nice. Because I do, like, I don't go through many posts because for some reason at the moment, my main account, it's shadow banned and just, I've got to, li- really, I've got to leave it alone for a month mm. or two. And then it's better then when I get the growth and all that sort of thing out of it. Mm. So the other one I'm trying to build up at the moment, they're the only two Instagram accounts I'm on. Okay. And that, but I do look through. I think I saw it's your birthday the other day as well. Happy birthday! Oh, appreciate it. Thank <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, people think that I don't know why. It's like you don't see the the guy that's there with like there's different girls, but it's the same. I see it guy. with the photography ones. I see it with the photography guys and the funny message. I'm in a group chat. Yeah. Um, just curvy legends. Um, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> just yeah, the I just... they get message from that. I don't know how people think that, but nah, that's like I, I've gotten that before. I'm just like, I, I get some why. weird ones. Yeah, like I don't know why, but like, yeah, sometimes like I just get all these like um weird, like even on my personal account too, because like I don't really be on there as much, but I'll get like I think just it's random bot accounts. Yeah, bot. Yeah, that's what they are. Yeah, little bot yeah. accounts, you know, and and uh like they'll type this whole paragraph. And you know they'll have you. They'll try to sell you something, but then you click on their account, and it's just like not oh, that many followers on. and stuff yeah. like that. So I'm just like, I don't I d- know. Yeah, I mean, a tip for shout out, for shout out. Like, I've noticed, like, I do look through the accounts properly. I mm-hmm. found some of them weren't using their big accounts. It's like, but if you're not going to use it, just tag your normal account. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I can't use my big one at the moment, so I won't reply back to the shout out for shout outs. The only reason why, because it's like, well, I can't do it at the moment you're not going to be seen much you know what I mean I'm kind of fair but on my other one at least you've seen a little bit more and yeah it's just ridiculous the amount of things and sometimes when you tell them to swap a photo because it's too much like I mean that's what Twitter's there for I've only just started using my Twitter again I thought well that's the one instead of using an instant like I know Insta doesn't like it in a way but if you can try and be clever with it hmm. you know what I mean not so obvious we was having it in a group chat the other day and they're probably, I'm going to have to tell them about this because it's funny. Mm-hmm. But there was a go on there and I think someone just posted the picture saying, oh my God, how is this allowed on Insta? And it was an art, it was an arty photo when you look at it properly now, but when I looked at it, you know, when it tells you on the little screen, mm-hmm. it did look like a full on whatever it was, a cat. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Yeah. And then basically I think a friend posted about her jeans ripping afterwards and they were all laughing at that and the girl we didn't know it was her photo but no one said anything bad and it escalated so bad to the point that it's just like before you know it she's reporting your pictures and things like that and it's just like hmm. you get people like that on insta yet you're trying to help people at the same there's some good ones on there but Hmm. Like, have, you got, have, have you ever got like any random people just like reporting your pages for like I mean, your pictures for no reason yeah. like stuff like that like you just post something that might not be that bad but they always get taken down and stuff i had this incident i think with my main instagram it was one that i did a photo shoot and mm. play cams the one that shot it mm. and i even put the little message that he puts on his page and mm. so on and the first time they tried to take it down Mm. I said like restricted it and they said okay then we won't take it down then they were going to take it down again they didn't then third time they did mm. and I just thought and that people report it for hate speech and things like that, that stupid stuff so mm. um, yeah <laughs> it, was, it gets yeah. a bit annoying when it's silly things like that but that's why I'm keeping my main account I want to keep it more tidy if you know what I mean People yeah. want to see the best stuff. <laughs> you might go to Twitter where it's allowed on it. I've looked through your account, and honestly, you don't really have anything that I would assume that would, should be taken down, to be honest, at least from what I've seen. It's just like, you know, the type of pictures you would see, like, um, like you know, celebrity models, the type of pictures they take. That's the type of stuff that I... Well, look least... at Britney the other day. Did you mm-hmm. see Britney Spears the other day? Britney Spears. Oh, no, I didn't see her stuff. No. Nah. No, there's a picture. I don't know. It was going around on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it's like, she's got a mood, she's covering herself, whatever. It's like, I'm yeah. not bothered that she does that. I really couldn't care. Yeah. But why would Insta keep that up for ages? And yet they take down photos of some people, which I've got to admit, half the time it is like, there's nothing wrong with the photo. It's blurred out. Yeah. They put a warning thing, like, and then there's some that are really obvious and 
it's just it's ridiculous sometimes i think it's really because like because i talked to somebody about that before and and to me the only assumption i can assume is that i just think because she's a celebrity you know and they make these apps they they make them money or whatnot so i think that's what it is but for regular average people you know i just i don't know i feel like it's a little unfair because like i I don't know i just think that if you're gonna have these rules that you should kind of like have that for everybody but see i will say like i don't know i think they pick and choose because there are some things they do they do they really do because i find like with some things there's one called this hat i Mm. like the pictures but it's like why is it she's allowed and she's got like let's say it's artsy i don't mind artsy photos but don't get me wrong like i've got a child well she's nearly a teenager and another child that's gonna they're already on tiktok and I don't mean like a council, like they look at TikTok, kids will just see it anyway. Mm. And on Instagram, yeah, I do agree. Maybe on Instagram, maybe not so much. Like if you do it in a tasteful way, I think because some people, like when you see Twitter, I think how are they making money when they're giving most of it away for free? Mm. But then again, they might do things that I don't do. <laughs> I don't know, mm. but don't get me wrong. Yeah, certain platforms for it, like Twitter, you can get out more and touch your boobs or whatever. And you know what I mean? But with Instagram, it's like, if you're going to let bikini models and that sort of thing, why can't we? As long as it's, I do get, as long as it's not in a really sexual way. Mm-hmm. But even if I've got my hand, like my thumb under my underwear, it's like, yeah, because I'm probably holding it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when it's artsy, whatever, I do get, yeah. When the girl was moaning about the photo we were on about, we were just saying, I'm not being funny. It looks like a cat. Mm-hmm. How is that allowed on there? <laughs> You know what I, I mean? That is it's taking it a bit far that way, but I'm not saying get your boobs out and all that. But if you're in a bikini, something sexy lingerie, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I mean, I, it I, shouldn't I, be bad if you're blurring out the nipples. If it's artsy, just you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes, if you're taking your underwear off, it maybe it's not for Insta, but putting it on Twitter, yeah. it's knowing them platforms to put it on, like. You know what I mean? You don't see me posting on my family Facebook with my boobs out. <laughs> yeah. I will say with uh yeah. Twitter though, like uh they do take certain stuff down for what I've heard. Like it just depends. It really depends. I've, I've just heard, come back on. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard on, like it it depends though, because like that there, there is like a lot of like explicit stuff on there, but sometimes certain people do get their stuff taken down, at least from what I heard. I think Twitter they oh. do they pick oh. and choose sometimes too. That's what I think. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, OnlyFans, like, obviously, you do shout out, shout out, like, like, whatever, and all that. Like, I expect to see the girls probably with the boobs out most of the time. You know what I mean? You expect it on certain platforms. But, like, on my OnlyFans, the girls that are on there, I don't expect them to post that kind of stuff on Insta. And it's the ones that are naive that wonder why their profiles are banned half the time that mm. do it. Mm. but the ones that obviously like they're wearing underwear they're not even touching themselves they're literally standing there and they still get banned i know a few accounts and it's sad because it's just like well they're not actually doing anything mm. they're not even like you have to do certain rules like don't put link in your bike at the end of the day we're just if people i don't sit there like sending messages to everybody Mm. on only fans i do yeah because you pay for that subscription mm. but i don't go through my insta list you know saying oh subscribe to this and all that i'm just like look the link's in my bio mm. you can come if you want to so i'm not harming anyone mm. if you like okay. my pictures you know i'm trying to like this year maybe experiment with my instagram and try to do a little bit different stuff but a lot of girls have done only fans now so they can't show up mm. okay okay <laughs> You so know, have, I mean, you, it's a platform that's helped me. Do you know, uh, what's her name? Kurt Kirsty, I think that's how you say her name. Yeah, Kirsty Campbell. Kirsty Campbell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, are y'all like friends or just like internet friends or something like that? An internet friend. Well, yeah, an internet friend because I haven't met her in person. We're in oh, this okay. group chat. This is the one I was talking about, but she weren't involved in it. She probably mm-hmm. just read it. I said, get a cup of tea because you probably want to read this. Mm. <laughs> to be honest it was a bit hilarious in the end but then there's things said like you see different sides of people and the way this girl went on in the group chat like honestly good thing she was kicked out sorry but okay. <laughs> she was really rude so like did you, yeah so did you how did you like meet her because i know she told me that she had because when i had messages her she had asked you 
I guess about me to see like if I was. I guess, yeah, I through. think she said it. She was like, "Is it legit?" And I said, "Well, you're doing yours before mine because I was away at the time. Mm-hmm. I was obviously at my mum's with my kids and that, so I wouldn't have been able to do it." Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, she just asked me if it was all legit. I was like, it seems legit. Mm. You know, I haven't been asked anything weird because normally when people ask you things, oh, we do this, and then it's followed by, can I have five photos of you and so on? And you know what I mean? It's like weird. And mm. then, but I was just like, I haven't been asked nothing dodgy. So she was mm. fine. Mm-hmm. And then she had, I think she talked to you before me. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought you were like friends like in real life. She had mentioned your name. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I didn't know you knew her. She's from the yeah. UK. We're, well, we're pretty much from the same country. Mm. Just, um, I think the shout out group, I can't even remember how I got into it now, but I got into the shout out group. And since then, it's kind of like, honestly, like every day, I think we all, I think the majority of the time, 80% of my week, I'll say morning to these girls, even if I'm feeling shit. It's like, well, at least someone can say I was alive today. And you know what I mean? So get a lot of people that still kind of worry about me. And I say, I'm fine. It's just, I like to have my own days to myself. Especially mm. if I'm just not feeling it. I'm just like, look, get me a bag of weed anytime. <laughs> I'm cool. Mm. <laughs> you know mm. what I mean? I'll yeah. sit there, I'll have to go, we're allowed to do that. We're allowed to have a date. And Sundays are normally my day. That's why I don't reply. And people will say I'm being rude. It's like, no, I just, I'm allowed to. And when I'm with my kids, yeah. I do. Like when I'm down there for a week, I say to people, I'll reply in the day, but it will be in the morning, the afternoon, early afternoon, by the evening. Mm. I don't get much time in room as I do when I'm working and things like that. So, mm. you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you need a day off at least, obviously. I mean, it, uh... my parents used to work hard. Okay, it wasn't doing what I was doing, but they probably did a lot harder and look how mm. they turned out. <laughs> but mm. at the end of the day, I've always had a good work ethic. So, mm, people, okay. as long as I'm putting food in my kids' bellies and health and rent and things like that i couldn't really care what anyone else says mm, okay <laughs> Those are so. so like with like um with dating and stuff like have you been like been like dating like recently or uh have you just started about i haven't dated single? well no I've, I've dated but i haven't been with anyone properly for four years coming up five years like, i haven't had a proper boyfriend so mm. i've just not worked out or it's just i don't know I think they just expect something else, but because of how I was taken by my ex, where he mm. just took everything from me, I'm very, I can't, I never used to be in control. I used to let a guy be in control of everything and work and trust him. Now I'm like, no. Mm. All the crap, so- oh, no, you good. Yeah. Right, hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, sorry, right. I don't know why it did then. No, you good. Right. So like, um, <laughs> sorry, I dropped the camera. So you think like when you get into like dating, do you think they do they accept what you do, or do they have like an issue what you do, or do they not? It really doesn't even care? get as far as that because they just chat and then they see the Insta and then it's the OnlyFans thing and things like that. Like guys I've dated have actually still signed up to my OnlyFans. I'm like, how have you when you have the real thing in front of you? Mm-hmm. But yeah, they don't want to date properly, but you're signing up to my and I'm just like, I really don't get it. So mm. so they just ex- <laughs> they just expect like one thing and that's it. Like they don't even try to like do more like with you. Like just, honestly, you know, I wish they just wouldn't talk to me and tell me anything. I'd rather they just go and click on my link on my bio and do what they have to do. But mm. half the time they'll sit there and they'll tell me and just it gets mad but I think I've got to that point it's like well I did what I did I'm not saying that I expect a boyfriend and all this shit but you know mm. like you know what I mean people <laughs> I'm not a bad person you should see the things that people ask for half the time mm. that I've turned it down and I'm just like that's weird and yeah these are the adopters and people like that <laughs> okay you know I got a question actually yeah, uh, in kind of higher and higher jobs you know what I mean compared to people like uh like me <laughs> mm, all right i got a I question so like so you're like really like to yourself independent of what i like do your own thing so mm. do you consider yourself like a traditional person or are you more like just more like you know the typical like what they do nowadays more independent and stuff like that are you that type i'm of person? trying 
I'm trying to be, well, I can't try and be a traditional person. Obviously, back in the day, you know, like 90s, things like that. My mum, she'd been married twice. And then, like, my mum, she'd never been married. But she had kids, whatever. You know what I mean? It's been nearly as traditional as you can get. It's gone with the times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, my nan was considered back in the day because she's white woman with a black man. Mm -hmm. Bad, but the times have moved on. And then my mum, she's had kids. Well, she's not married, but times have moved on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I had my kids in that era where it was a teenage mum, basically. But I've moved on. You know what I mean? Times are changing all the time. And I've not done anything bad. It's just, you know what I mean? So it, you're it's, you're it's more young. like you're just more like the mo the the modern type woman. Like you're not really like. Well, yeah, much. yeah. I move, I move with the times. Like obviously, we can all you know when people just want to say, well, of course, we want to do things and all this, but I can only do so much. Mm. And really, I have to start from home, which is at the end of the day, my mum. I've had yeah, we've all had a crap life. We've all had it crap in some way. But I'm just working with what I've got. I'm not saying that I can go and be a banker and. You know, go and be friggin', I don't know, see a pretty little thing, <laughs> things like that. Or get on mm. TV or do whatever. But I'm just doing what I'm doing. And I'm kind of just happy as long as I can pay my bills and get my kids through what they need to in life and all that. And be there for my family. That's all I need. Okay. And be there for the ones that have supported me. Obviously, the ones that keep supporting me. Okay, yeah. I just <laughs> asked that just because... Ones, yeah. I ask that just because, like, you know, um, with the way the world is nowadays, like, I mean, for me, oh, it's bad. Gr yeah, growing up for me, like, I didn't really, like, my parents didn't run really traditional, like, they both worked, me and my sister, we went to, oh, yeah. uh, we went, you know, we went to after school or whatever, you know, and, oh, yeah, well, I used to, I used to love reading me, I was, like, probably picked on in school and all that, because I had long curly hair and things like that, Ooh, because mm. my dad didn't live with us. And I was a bit of a nerd, and I wish I'd stuck at sight like that anyway, but it's happened now. But at least I'm trying to use my head. And doing all this kind of running your social media and doing OnlyFans, it does teach you. It's taught me more than what I would have learned in maths. Hmm, okay, like, yeah. You know what I mean? I have to learn my percentages. Like, I've got to learn that. It's going to, because obviously OnlyFans, you have to transfer it to pounds over here. So I kind of have to know roughly what I'm going to get. And that sort of thing and percentages. And I've had to learn all of that, especially with my cabin. And I've learned that more than what I learned in school. Yet I was labelled a problem child, mm. which I wasn't. It's just they didn't want to deal with it. And they tried to say I was dyslexic. It's nothing wrong with being dyslexic. My dad was, but I was just being lazy because I knew I could play on it. Like back when I was a kid, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was clever enough to know with them because I was just like, they're just going to feel sorry for me. Because they thought I was stupid like that anyway. And I just mm. used to, I don't know, you know mm. what I mean? I was happy yeah. doing that in school. But obviously now, again, like, I'm not trying to big up OnlyFans in that way. I've got a niece that's 18. Mm. She's 18 this month. And like she jokes about, and I'm just like, the thing is, I'm 28. I've experienced a few more things. Like now I get what my mum tells me, my aunties used to tell you know what I mean? Mm. You get when you grow up, don't you get a lot of what people say now? Yeah, I do. You just, just like, oh, but you're earning money. I said, you're saying that, but you don't get the effort that's put into it, mm. which you do. Like, if you don't market yourself, I've been lucky enough to live off a bit of it through the past few months, but really, it's like that's unfair to people. I shouldn't be doing that. So, mm. I've just got to put my work in this year. And okay, yeah, like that's I mean? like for me personally, like. Growing up, like I didn't really come up, come off as tra well traditional, I would say, but only just because like I just thought that was normal. But I guess as I got older mm. and I really started to see like you know um, other people still kind of like being traditional, I was like, oh okay, like I could understand. But because I guess like reasons why most people nowadays have like an issue with well, I'll, I'll say I, I don't want to say I'm gonna say like women most some women i don't think too many guys have an issue with traditional it just depends but i just noticed it's, like they... a, it's a psychological thing honestly i think with it, i find it interesting so i'd love to go to uni and study this sort of thing and do all of that but again it's like with me if i want to do something i want to do it yeah if i want to quit in three days i'll quit in three days yeah. but i've learned with a lot of guys like some of them have girlfriends they have what but they have everything they can have yeah and yet it's still the whole thing with like 
when say some of them like they can be all right i'm not saying all of them are bad but some think like when they subscribe to you they can talk to you how they want to and all this mm. thing like you'll do anything and things like that and it's really i don't know sometimes it is a little bit scary because you don't know with these people mm. yeah like i mean honestly really careful. honestly i will say that like i like the thing is um like with traditional like i don't think it's like a bad thing i think it's like it's oh it, it's okay it's just that like because people think like you know say for example like say if you were a traditional woman right and you like to you know you you had a husband and he was the one that was going out working and you were the one stay at home watching your kids doing this and that people would think that that's like you slaving away which i feel like that's not especially if it's your choice it's not like you you're being forced to do that like you want to do that you want to be around your kids and, oh i can cook and i can cook yeah. and clean and look after yeah. kids i can do all that but i just don't see the point of doing that for a man hmm. but half the time sorry but you say traditional people the reason why they're probably traditional half the time is because half of them ain't brought out hmm. they're very honestly the amount of people i think i've seen through this i think that's probably why i'm probably gonna have problems with relationships hmm. Hmm. it's like god a lot of them i think have good relationship like don't get me wrong, I've let an ex watch one things like that, but I'm like, I wouldn't let you watch someone from my area. Yeah. It's a bit, it's a I mean, bit think, close to home. I think you could find someone good, because obviously not every dude out here is like traditional. I think you could find someone Oh, I'm not saying one. every dude is. Every dude yeah. wants to, obviously, they've watched porn. This is what girls got to get said. Guys have watched porn or will watch porn in their life. They're going to do that. They're going to be curious about some things. Obviously, if you're straight up about it, I think you're all right. Mm. But if you're very... Some of them, just even some of the camera, it's mad. <laughs> some of the names and that, they'll be like, next to my girl. And I'm just like, that's mad. I'd flip if that mm. was me. But okay. you know what I mean? I'm all right if I'm obviously watching site else. Oh, maybe okay. not that, but I don't know. Reason why I get that sort of thing. Reason why I asked about that, because I actually got this thing. I got I got planning coming up. I told mentioned this to someone else because I watched like this podcast on YouTube. And it's like these, it's these two guys, they bring these, all these girls in, right? Um, and they'll um, ask them, like, what, you know, basically what they expect out of a yeah. guy. If they, it, they basically talk about Yeah, like, it's roles. your honest opinion. I think that should. Yeah, they yeah. just basically ask them about, like, the traditional roles and independent role, basically. It's your honest opinion, though, I reckon. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> I figured that I wanted to do something similar where I wanted to like get like three or four chicks, right? And, you know, uh, maybe four, like two girls, um, maybe like two yeah. girls, <laughs> they're more like the whole modern uh, type uh, chicks who are more independent, like someone like you. And then the other two are more like traditional and they don't really mind. Yeah, I know and what I wanted you mean, to have like a, yeah. yeah, I wanted to have like a debate just to kind of see. You should have one that's American and one that's UK on each thing as well. Just actually no that would actually know that is actually you know what that that is not a bad idea actually uh yeah because i actually it's on two different countries then yeah i, I got i already got one person um that she's down to do it if you're down to do it uh i could definitely do that well she's I'm from down america. as long as we can all agree a good time <laughs> yeah she's american i'm really bad at keeping diaries but i've had to learn to get back i'm okay. not gonna lie i've been slacking a lot i'm not gonna sit here and lie to people but obviously now i can sit here and go i had these problems i had this no one cares it's like look i have problems i'm done with it let's start a new we're on a new year like i'm getting there slowly i've learned now instead of just going all in and wearing myself out just slowly slowly like today i started off with deleting photos on my phone and things like i thought this old content i'm not going to use it because i'm not happy with it i'm not happy with it i'm not going to use it and then it ended up me putting the makeup on because i thought about this to do tonight and i liked it look nice Okay. And then it just turned to photos and only fat, and I'm just like, right. And then I put polls up and things like, you know what? Tell me what you want, because I don't want to put the same thing. I don't want to do the same stuff. Like at least I want to try and do something different. I'm not saying I'm going to change everything, but okay, sometimes yeah. to be plugged along. I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that and get like four, and then like we can have like a little discussion, and then try to just kind of see. I hope it goes well because like I also want to chip in. And how because there's like a lot of opinions that I have, and I just kind of hope that everything is good and no one's like getting oh, angry. Oh no, you gotta you gotta be able to get people like don't get me wrong if you're like passionately angry about something or whatever, but you can't, I don't know, you you know about Piers Morgan or something, like you can't be storming off 
Yeah, I just don't want no one to get like, like real that. mad. Oh you no! Know? And then just like hang. It's like I want to. I have just a laugh. Good... I just sit there and laugh. I sit there and laugh. If someone. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean, it was I just want because you just know how when you get a bunch of girls together, somebody says the wrong thing and they piss someone off, and I just don't. Well, that's why I said. No, as long as it's worded yeah. as right as they yeah. can, like you gotta take responsibility for what you say. You can't just that's, like. Yeah, that's why I said. I think four. this is why, like with me, I'm one of them people. I'm trying to even now watch what I'm saying because I'm like, oh, this is going on YouTube or whatever. I don't want to say things that are gonna words that are gonna like obviously get it flagged or something. Oh like no, nah, you so. good? I mean, I edit things anyway, so pretty much you can say whatever. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't. All right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I will say this, like, you can say, like, you can curse on YouTube. It just depends, because, like, I'm a small channel, so, like, they don't, they don't really, I was well, I'm one okay. of the, yeah, but I'm one of them, when you're a small channel, well, you want to be able to, like, I don't know, I think when you're small, when I started out small, like, I've noticed if my account, that like, grows more than what my big account does at the moment, if I just left the big one alone, <laughs> but. I mean, because like, they, they have it, they don't, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, they don't really demonetize. I think that's the word you call, uh, because like, um, I haven't even got monetized on my YouTube channel. So it's like, they really couldn't like do anything. So you can pretty much say whatever. I just edit just to edit just because I don't know, YouTube is so freaking, they're weird. All these sites. My kids weird. watching, no, honestly. I watch my kids watching these channels and I think some of them are so bloody annoying, like mm -hmm. screaming and all that. Yeah. And then some of the little effects they use, I'm like, oh, that's kind of, uh, I wouldn't know how to do it myself. I said, I'm that kind of person that could record site, but someone would have to edit it all. Can edit photos. I've just started learning myself. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to yeah. do that. So I already got, so I got this other lady. And I guess you say you want to do, I just got to find two other people. And then we could try yeah. to put that together and just have like a basically a debate. I just I'm curious. I just want to see what that's what I mean. Sometimes like. I think once you've done one thing with your content, like I've learned that unless someone else is asking for it all the time. Mm -hmm. Gotta do different stuff with it. Probably be interesting to see. And I like to have a debate. Yeah, I, just, <laughs> I think I just, I just hope, like seeing everyone. I just hope everybody just like cool. see everyone arguing. I, I, I mean, oh, I hope it, I hope fun. it doesn't like. I hope it's like a good calm argument, but just not like you know everybody yelling at each other, things like that. And it's like I want everybody um, to be cool. Gotta admit, I gotta admit, the Americans that they argue are quite funny. Oh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> sorry, well, I've just had cam come on. <laughs> nah, it's cool. It's cool. Nah, we we it, it is kind of wild over here. I will admit that. Uh, but like, I don't know. I just want everything to be good, you know, because so far the people that yeah. I've talked to on here. Are nice, cool, whatever. So I just kind of hope that they, I guess all everyone's nice, them. but we've all got our bad side. Yeah, we've all I got guess... our bad side of things we might not agree with, but it depends how much we think. That obviously, there's certain things that people wouldn't I, be. I just feel like coming from you, <laughs> like I just sense like you probably are one of those people that got that little side to you. So I'm kind of sensing that in a little bit. Like you got I that little side. See. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I just like know. seeing people's reactions, and to be honest, I just laugh half the time. The other time, it's mm. like I think I don't I know. Think... I come from that side of the family where we wind up merchants. I think. Yeah, I think <laughs> you'll be like good. That. I think you'll be. Good. I feel like I feel like looking at you. I think you'll be like sort of like the quiet, observed type person. I feel like that's probably most like how you'll be. Sometimes I, I can be very. It's my yeah. mood on the day. Sometimes it's like right if I'm in that mood, I'm gonna tell yeah. people that thing. Okay. That's Have you ever um seen? Oh man, I don't know what the name of this rally show. I think it's in the UK. I think it's uh oh, cause you were you look like somebody I've seen on there. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's it's kind of like Love Island. I don't know. They got a bunch of weird shows. Love Island, Love Island. Island. <laughs> all that. You look like one of those chicks I see. I'm 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 see if I can pull her name up. But oh, you look God. just like you literally i don't know if, if that's in i don't even know if that's you i, I would, wouldn't be surprised that, that's actually. a compliment if i look like yeah. someone from love island nah, no no she, it is. She, series. no she is i well, don't watch it that much but i know the girl if it's um, the one i'm thinking of if it's the irish girl then i'll be quite happy wait let me see if i that, could this definitely has to go in the video oh uh, let <laughs> me see ah uh, what's her name uh her name might be similar to yours. I don't know if I could find. Nah. Nah, I thought oh, maybe. Maura. Is okay, her name so... Maura? I don't Maura? think so. No. But have you ever no. been on like reality TV before? Or no, never. You know what? 
Love Island is what, see, I had a brother that went on a TV show, the UK TV show, years and years back. It's like 2005, maybe. Yeah. And it was all good at the time, you know, it was called Bad Lad Army and he went on it. Mm-hmm. It was all, you know, fun and games, got on TV, my mum weren't happy with him and so on. Mm-hmm. And then he said it did affect him getting jobs and things like that. And he said, like, for years, and he said it was really bad. And I've heard of a few people that are like, you know what I mean? They say it's a good thing at the time. They've regretted it over the years. And I've got to admit, when it's like, okay, with the OnlyFans and all that, people might see me. Mm. But I kind of don't know if you know what I mean. But when you've got all them people talking about you. Mm. Like, don't get me wrong. Yes, I kind of, I'd love to have fame, but I don't think it would come with the nice side of it for me. I think it, I would focus more on the negative side and it'd be saying that'd be bad for me. So for me, it's like a bad move, if you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I do little shows, maybe little things, you know, YouTube and all that, it's all good. Mm-hmm. Like experiment and all that. But I think when you're on a national level and that, I don't think I'm the sort of person that could take it. Mm-hmm. Personally, I like to be rich, I'd rather be rich and have people pay big money behind me, you know what I mean? Yeah. That sort of thing. And I'd rather be rich than be famous. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the same thing I've said. I said that exactly. I like same to be able thing. to afford my bills and all that. Yeah, I said that same exact yeah, thing. Same. Uh, I've had to be careful. I've been asked for a few things, and I'm just like, I was filming for eight years ago for BBC, and in the end, like, my mom was just like, no. She was oh, like, they, you fuck the, it up. And, what did they do over there? Oh, here she is. I found her. Here she is. Oh, what? it was just a program years ago. So I was just like, nah. <laughs> Okay. So, was it, was and I'm like, kind of glad of it. I'm glad of it because with this, I know I'm on the internet, but in my head, it's like, well, not many people. I don't see that. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't see every face and that sort of thing. But when you're on Twitter, it's, yeah. Like, okay. I, felt <laughs> I don't there. think I could deal with that so much. I literally found her. So her name is oh, Megan. Megan, Ma- something. Megan McKenna. I think that's her name. Me Megan that. McKenna. Megan Who's McKenna. Her? Oh. Hold I'm on, a, let me get my laptop out. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought maybe, like, that was... you. I was like, there ain't no way I'm talking. There ain't no way. Megan. Oh, I bet I know who it is as well. Oh, it's the mouthy one. Yeah, the, uh, the, yeah, she's, like, really... Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, now she's had her lip fillers taken out and that. She's oh, quite okay. nice. And she's a good country singer, apparently. Oh, okay. I've never yeah. heard her, but I know she's trying to hit America with the country singing and all that. To be fair, I'll oh, say it's funny because you have you ever seen the old videos of her? Uh, I think so. I've seen a couple. You, so she... Go on YouTube when she's mouthing up and all that. And it's like, oh my God, that would be me back in the day. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen a bunch I've of her. I've got She's trying to change to maybe, maybe me and her. Yeah, she was really like, like mean that. and yelling and hollering. And I guess what I saw. I wasn't it. mean. People yeah. were mean to me and I was mean back. I can be mean back. I'm not denying that. The way she was, no, the way she was, she she seemed like she, yeah, I don't know. But I, but I, I thought that was you at first. I was like, this can't be that chick I saw on TV. That, this is going to have to go on my TikTok. I'm going to have to be like when you say that, like, Mega Wicket. And I'm just like, you know what? A lot of my friends are like, you know, he's not he's not far off Chanel. Yeah, like, that's what I thought. I was like, yo, is this her? But I had to look at her again. I was like, oh, wait, no, her hair color is a little bit different and stuff. So I was like, oh, okay. But now nah, you do, like, you could be on those show Love Island and Excellent, whatever them weird shows they got on there. It's on the beach now. Nah. Yeah. It's on the beach. I'd probably be funny on that. But the thing is, Probably years ago, that personality of me and that person I probably was, yeah. But so, like, now have you, I'm like, ha, matter of fact, have I'm just you, trying to have fun now. I don't yeah. want to like do mad stuff anymore. And have you ever, have you ever came across like from those little those reality shows? Like, had they ever messaged you? Was like, oh well, like we think you'd be good on this and that. Like, have you ever gotten those before? I've been messaged by shows too, but. I'm not stupid when I've seen what it's done to my brother and that thing like that. It's like, yeah, you make a bit of money for now, but how do you know you're not going to turn? I've seen how I can come across to people sometimes. It's like, now imagine that on a bigger scale. Mm. I don't want that. And I know my mental health couldn't handle it. I've been handling a few people a day. I could not handle that. Even if you had a team behind me, whatever, it would mm. make someone feel bad. I mean, look at Caroline Flack and that sort of thing. It's just like, no. I am not gonna be. I'll what be that am, kind of person. You can get stories. What's that like show? That. Um, I used to watch the show a lot. Why well, I watch it sometimes? It's called Jeremy Kyle. But they actually, they they, they oh, they, they had, had, had to cancel it. Yeah, they you ever saw that? Yeah. You seen that before? I, I saw it, and you know what? Looking back then, I've got to admit, 
I'd laugh and everything. So you think, oh, look at them, ha, ha, ha. And now you look at it now and then see not been off the air and everything. Can you see the story? It's just like, you know what? They were taking, not taking the piss out of stupid people. You know what I mean? Like, obviously offering them something. And I've seen how these TV shows work. I said it with my brother years ago and things like that. And you see how they fabricate things and you see the stories. So it's just like... It was like they fabricate yeah. a lot of things. It's not ever real, and to be honest, just yeah, it's too much. I, I think don't that was that y'all. Life. That was y'all version of Jerry Springer because I don't know if you are Jerry Springer, yeah. but that's like, I guess, our right, Jeremy. I, I look back and watch it now, yeah. and I don't find it so funny. If you know what I mean, back then mm. because I was younger, but now and now the kids are, and you see how people turn out. I've seen friends that commit suicide. Yeah. I've seen them do it, but you know what I mean. Things like that, people that drank and died, and it's not actually funny. It's just like you know. I will say all that these people like probably got mental problems, and again, it's just like. Yeah, some there's, people there's having a limit to it. There's, if you know what you're doing and that sort of thing, you're having a joke, whatever. But when you're taking the piss out of people that you know, not capable that way. Yeah, people. Um, oh, I'm not I remember I saw the comments. Way. It's not really fair. I saw the comments about that. You know, people were saying like, "Um, oh yeah, I'm happy that it's gone." I used to watch it yeah, sometimes. Nah. I used to watch it um a lot sometimes um because they had like a YouTube channel. So I watched that little clips of it on there because obviously we couldn't get that over here in America, but I would watch clips of it on YouTube. I thought it was okay. Um, I mean, like I said, it's yeah. just like the the, the show uh, Jerry Springer over here, kind of. Except Jerry Springer. But I think with Jerry, yeah, you could tell with Jerry Springer though in the way. It was, it was fake. Jerry I mean, most. Not, but yeah, exactly. But and no, it was, with this, it was real life. And yeah. And like even the guys, there was two men. I think and they found out they were brothers, and it was just like to have yeah. that even televised and things and they would actually sorry but if they just found that out i wouldn't even be televising that like why would you do that to two people uh, i will say that i thought it was cool i mean i didn't really okay i'm, I'm gonna be fair i didn't really watch it for like the storyline no when like you that. look back on it now when i look back on some shows i watch if you ever just look back on some shows but what the hell was i watching and oh yeah i'm not saying that i don't sit there and post comments in like you know forums and things like that and going on like oh this 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 i just choose not to watch it and that's it yeah like it's it's, it, it, it was it's a, up to everybody else really it was a cool show i thought it was cool but like um to be fair it was cool at the time but when you look back at the time it was very you know I mean, what I mean? I think I've watched all old episodes of soaps and the way they go on about gays and things like that. And it's just like bloody how is that how it was back then? Uh, and to oh, me, only, like, obviously I'm not gay or anything like that, but to see how I only watched TV and things like that. I only, only watched bit, it uh I think I only you gotta realize it. it was back then. Yeah, I only watched it till like 2016, but I did see like some older stuff and like from 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 there and stuff but i mean i thought it was okay i thought i was I, I will say this i thought it was a little unfair to like okay i can understand like you cancel it but they wiped out everything mm. to make it seem as if it never existed i thought that was a little unfair because like okay i get it you want to cancel it but you could have still had yeah, no if, i mean if you put it on tv now yeah you put it on live tv now yeah okay that's a bit tasteless now but if you go on netflix you go on the internet to find it yeah I'm not saying you but you can't find, find it no you can't find not it only no fools and horses like only fools and horses yeah. is a big program over here my mum she's mixed race she watches it she was watching it on uk tv gold the other, when i was down there oh and even though she mixed race she was like but back then but she finds it funny but she don't take it seriously but obviously yeah. if someone was to say some of the shit out oh, then yeah of course the thing it's is not, but she, you know what i mean i don't sit there and tell everyone don't stop watching it or i watch a bit of it but i don't sit there and post i think we know too much about people's lives sometimes yeah the it thing is. is i will say that um they only canceled because somebody had committed suicide and people said that oh yeah um, no that was yeah, that you was shouldn't have gone reason. on it in that way, but Alan, how do we know? And it's just, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, Jeremy Carl, he does go in on with people. I will say he's he, not is that little, he is a little, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I arrogant. Say. He's arrogant for considering someone that was a cocaine head and a gambling addict. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know right, that. He had his own problems. That's like me sitting there and telling all of you, right, you've all done this, this and this, and I'm great. When really, it's like, I just about had my own problems. I couldn't tell half of you everything just honestly like, like me nothing. they said that also somebody on love island or whatever one of those shows somebody had died on there committed suicide but they never oh three down. three of yeah. them i think yeah, there's they, three of them that have committed suicide. yeah they said that's they what i mean 
and they didn't shut that down. So people thought it was a little unfair. They're going to shut him down, shut him oh, down. Oh, yeah, no, but I do yeah. agree with that. Like, I'm just saying, if, if, at the I end think of people just didn't shows, like it, it does, it does, it encourages, I think, like, you know what I mean? Even I have trouble with it because I've got body discovery and all that, but I have trouble with seeing my body because you do, you're watching these programs, you're looking on Insta, but then when I see the girls going out all real and all that, it's like, it's nice to see. But I yeah. battle between it. You know what I mean? I just think that uh, people, I think people didn't like him personally. I think that's all it was. I was like, oh, well, I mean, that's a little messed up though because, you know, you you, you kind of took him out. You should have took them out. But, you know, people. I think oh, yeah, but like it's him. just like that. Honestly, it's I could have, like I could that, picture you on one of those on that show. Uh, oh, like, don't. I think like, the way, would hate me. The way, the oh. way, like, the way they uh, say certain, like, words, like, slang words and stuff, like... Uh, I don't even know what my accent is. Everyone says I've got a Brummy accent right now. I'm trying I, to think. I thought I found London. They, I'm trying to think. It was, like, one of these words that they would say. Oh, man. Um, slag. Yeah, like, slag. Like, <laughs> what is that? What is... I, I hear that I all a the, slag. <laughs> well, not a slang, but, like, I don't know. I guess it's can't say a slag. But like slag, what does that mean? Like, what does slag mean? What does that mean? Slagging off? Like, uh, like, slap. Do you know what slap means? Slap, like slap. Slap, slap. S-L-A-P. Oh, slap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slap. Yeah. Yeah, slag. Like you slag. Oh, okay. <laughs> you okay. Yeah, it's just a I... British slap word, I think. But oh. actually, you know okay, what? Yeah. I just want to look up the definition now of what a slag is. Yeah, because I hear I hear is. that um I would hear that on that show a lot. I'm like, what is slagging off? What does that even mean? It says it says there's three there's a noun stony waste matter separated from metals during the smelting or refining of or mm-hmm. <laughs> that's slag or informal British to criticize someone in an abusive or insulting manner. The film has been slagged by many critics for its impromptu parts. <laughs> that that mm. sounds really British. Okay. And then number two is produce deposits of slag. Most of the other contain materials of slag. That's weird. But I don't know if you want to see Urban Dictionary. I wonder what Urban Dictionary one is. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. pretty oh, much good. I just always heard that word. I didn't necessarily know what it mean. But I'm just like, what is slagging off me? I'm trying to think. It was another. It was a bunch of other words they would say that I did not quite. I, I didn't know what, knew what it mean. Oh, right. No. Well, the Urban Dictionary says no, the Urban Dictionary says one is slag is to spit. Two mm-hmm. is a woman who sleeps around, looks cheap, or has questionable character. Probably quite a lot of the only fathom skills that everybody's been called. And mm. uh, slag to waste the product of the store maker process. I didn't even know slag was a part of the material process, so I've learned something tonight. So, like, what, okay, <laughs> what, what, and okay, what words do y'all say? Uh, I'm trying to think like what words do y'all say that to insult people because I'm pretty sure y'all don't really say the exact same thing like how we say our words like what are because that's one of them y'all depends say. how what level you want to insult them at if it's me it, well if you want to insult them high it's C-U-N-T mm-hmm. and if it's you bastard mm-hmm. uh, twice dickhead <laughs> okay. and then just a suck your that's one. <laughs> I think I've heard that. Like, yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, I will say on that show, like, yeah, a lot of people were like really aggressive and uh, uh, really aggressive and angry. I will say this. This is one thing I thought it was a little weird and a little messed up. I don't know if this was their intentions, but I don't know if you noticed, but like, you know how they would have, like, though it would just be like regular people. I don't think they were people that were on drugs, but they would have yeah. regular people and their teeth would all be all jacked up and you know like on the youtube on the thumbnail the way they would have it they would just sort of like just show them but just show like the they jacked up teeth and yeah. when i seen that a lot i was like okay oh i know but it's just tried to it's just for the um shock factor okay yeah i was so, like there's no way people out there are not it's just to make teeth. it then like, oh no it is through drugs like oh, oh okay you have to really, i don't know you'd have to be really abused like obviously like that i was about to say because i saw you that you do get that through drugs or you get it through certain illnesses or things that can happen to your teeth people fall with stuff uh, you know I mean? but the show does exaggerate stuff that's what it was about i was about to say i've seen plenty of i've seen plenty of to take sound bites off people like certain little comments people would say because half of it would sound like something you'd say when you're insulting someone yeah you know what i mean so it's a bit it's just yeah i've like, seen like a lot of uh uk people that had nice there. that had nice teeth and i'm just thinking like, that's no way in the world that all of them 
are looking like that because like where's the dentist at you know that's what i would see yeah but i see videos of people in america but maybe they don't all look like that <laughs> oh man that's a it's a it's a it's more than just teeth uh you know more than just that i will say like i will say um some of the women like some of the average looking women uh they look kind of pretty i mean you know <laughs> yeah like they yeah. look pretty you know but yeah they did kind of over exaggerate but like i said it was that was like y'all versions of jerry springer the one thing i hated was every time somebody would fight, they would always show the audience, so you couldn't really see anything. Y'all like, yeah, they were yeah. Way, I don't know if it's you like can't that, put that on TV here. Yeah, is, you can't is put it like that on TV here. Super... not like thirty in the morning. Not like oh, 30. oh, so it's like really yeah. like family friendly. Should I like that? No, that's not. I know the British. That's family friendly. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I used oh, to hate sorry. that. I'm like, bro, can we just see the fight? Because here, they we don't do that. We show literally everything and stuff like that. Like, uh. I know uh, it's not that sensitive that much in America. Yeah, well, yeah, it depends. Because surprisingly, like, I mean, you don't say certain things. Yeah. But TV it. wise, they, yeah, they show everything. Wow. But over there, they don't really show too much. Like, wow. I guess they, you know, cut certain things, which I guess is a little annoying, though. But, like, do you ever watch uh, Gordon Ramsay? Like, because I know they got mm -hmm. one, a Hell's Kitchen over there. But I've seen the version. Yeah, yeah, that I love got. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> it's more calmer. He's more calm over there, but here in America, he's no. You mean he's actually more real? Yeah, because he's been real and it's not made up. Because Americans love that; they just love the whole, you know, <laughs> everything being tied up. It is. You can see it in the programs. Even though I like watching it, but I know it's not real half the time when I've watched all them shows on YouTube. Yeah, we just like That's drama right. over here. That's all it is. But yeah, yeah, he's, yeah he's people there. say people the say British love drama, but we're very like. When we're dramatic, it's funny. Yeah, but y'all just like know how to like, I guess, cut off sometimes. Y'all just know how to just like not do it as much. I guess I. It's like, say. anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, yeah, we're just a little bit more dramatic and stuff, I guess. But um, yeah. So gonna wrap this though. Um, it was definitely nice talking to you. I'm definitely gonna hit yeah, you, you back, too. Um, with that little debate thing, I just got. Yeah, no, out, I'll be um, up for that. I'll be up for it just as long as we, because I'm very, because now it's the adhd i've learned with it i'm like i like to have things fun mm -hmm. but it's dropped on me in the day even i got a job dropped on me the other day it's like i could have made 200 pounds i was just like i can't mm -hmm. <laughs> i was like it's not in my schedule today but uh, i've been up since five in the morning the other day so <laughs> okay yeah well well i'm gonna try to because i got i guess so far now i might have two so you and this other lady um, but yeah, I'm gonna try yeah. to get some two other people. I gotta figure out when it'll probably start like somewhere like in February, maybe because uh, I'm yeah, then that's cool that stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna get that Hopefully going. My account will be fine, by then. Okay, yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna try to get that uh situated and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I definitely want to do that. And uh, honestly, I'm gonna try to like because usually what I wear, I wear like a t-shirt and shorts and stuff just because like I'm comfortable in it. But I think uh, with this one, I just want to make it look special. So we're all going to try to wear like, just like, not a presentable outfit, but just like a nice yeah. casual outfit, you know, basically <laughs> yeah, no, just so, true. you know, so I'm going to try to wear something like, at least like throwing some pants or something just to make it look. Yeah, no, that's cool. cool. But yeah, like, yeah, I just don't want it to be too dramatic and nothing like that. So, you know, I hope everybody keeps oh, it <laughs> and stuff, but no, I think you'll Should do all right. right. I think nah, Americans like love dramatic. <laughs> yeah, they do. But I think you'll do. I hope it doesn't go viral in a bad way. I, I wouldn't want that for any of y'all. I wouldn't want... I don't know. I've gone viral for a few little things. So that was ages ago on Lab Bible. It's a thing over mm -hmm. here. I don't know if you've heard of Lab Bible, but... Uh, yeah, I just don't want nothing bad. Yeah. You know, I just want everything good to go on. But yeah, so... um, Yeah, this video will probably be up in a few weeks. I got so many other ones that I've been doing. So it'll, I'll probably yeah, let you know that's... when. I'll let you know when. Yeah. And with that debate, I'll also let you know about that and stuff. So, uh, but this is definitely good. It was nice talking yeah, to you. Thank you. Thank you but, uh, but yeah, you have a nice day. Though. I'll, I'll I'll hit you up, you know, soon about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. See you later. All right. Bye. 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 bye.